So let's talk about this problem. It's saying, find, write the equation of a line that is that goes through the point 4, 1, and it's perpendicular to the point, or the line, y equals 1 third x plus 3. So I'm going to explain kind of the reason why before we do anything. So first of all, let's plot the point 4, 1. There's that point 4, 1. So you know it goes to that point. But now let's, it says that it's perpendicular to this line right here. And that line would be, let's just graph it. We, we don't have to do this, but let's just do it for fun. Good practice. There's the point zero 03, right? That's the y-intercept. And then the slope gives you a road map to the next point. And the road map says to go up one, that's the one on the top, and over three, rise over run. So your next point would be right there. So your line, that, that line would look like this. So what we want is a, we want the line that's perpendicular to that that goes through that point. So let's just draw it in so we have a kind of a rough idea. Well, we know it's going through here and it's perpendicular, so it's going to be about like, kind of about like that. Can't assume that that's exactly right, but it's going to be something like that. So let's talk about how, what we notice about the slopes of the purple and the red line. What do we notice about them? Well, first of all, this had a rise of one and a run of three. And the red one, if you, if you notice what happens is, the red one's gonna have a run of one and a rise of three, but it's going the other direction. It's actually tilted the other way. So what, what, what do we notice about this, the picture? And this is exactly what I was trying to point out to you, is that perpendicular lines have negative or opposite reciprocal slopes. So if the slope of this line was positive one-third, then the slope of the red line is negative three over one. Okay? So if we know that's the slope, now let's go backward and let's actually find this. How would you actually do this problem? Well, you would first start by saying, all right, my slope of my line is negative three, and my point, a point that I have is four, one. And what's the best equation to use if you have a point and the slope? Point slope. Yep, the point slope form, which tells you, remember this, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Remember that? Yeah. So we're literally plugging, there's your, there's your m, there's your y, x1, sorry, and there's your y1. So x1 is 4, y1 is 1, m is 3, and just plug the rest of it in. So there's your equation. Now, if they wanted you to write it in slope-intercept form, you were, you're not done yet, you'd have to do a little bit more. Yeah. And now what you would have to do is distribute that three, that negative three in carefully. Whoops, this should be not equals, this should be minus. Sorry about that. So y minus one equals that, so which means y equals negative three x plus 13. And there's your equation. And you can see it's gonna eventually, gonna eventually hit 13 on the y-axis all the way up there. All right, so there's your equation, that's how you do it.